Sling that jank. Hey guys, Trent here coming at you with another deck tech. This time we're going to go into modern. Uh, this is just a little something I put together. Uh, mono black zombie devotion, basically. Uh, so it's got uh, the zombie synergy shell, but but also Grey Merchant is a zombie, so devotion to black matters. So we've got some heavy devotion cards in here and our honorary uh, zombie Phyrexian Obliterator. So the mana base, 23 land, uh, basic swamps. I'm not even messing around with any kind of Muta Vault, uh, Uraborg stuff. This deck is actually kind of like a budget deck, I think. It's probably only like 60, 70 tickets. So one drops, we got some of the best uh, zombie one drops. Play set of Crypt Breakers so we can draw cards and make zombies. Got a play set of Fatal Push, probably the one of the best early removal we can have in this deck. Play set of Grave Crawlers, uh, we can just keep adding this back to the board and it helps with devotion as well. Play set of Thoughtseize, just the uh, catch all removal, pay two life and take uh, the key spell out of our opponent's hand. Uh, yeah, we're kind of shy on the two drops here. Uh, there's just not a lot of good two drops that I feel like I want to play, uh, other than Relentless Dead. Uh, and it's almost like a three drop as well, so really it's almost like we don't have any two drops. We'll have to use this as a true drop, though. So Relentless Dead is obviously good in a zombie synergy deck, and of course it adds two devotion. So Lord of the Accursed, a zombie synergistic card, but the least devotion synergistic, I would say, in the deck, just because it's a three mana permanent that only provides one black devotion. But it's it's our Lord of the deck, and its uh, menace ability can be quite relevant. So Phyrexian Obliterator, uh, just a powerhouse on its own if it doesn't get pathed, uh, but it provides four loyalty, or I'm sorry, four uh, devotion to Gary. And it's just a beating if it ever sticks around. Then top of the curve, we got our Grey Merchant of Masvidal, or Gary is what people call him. Uh, so you want to have as much loyal, uh, devotion, I'm sorry, I keep saying loyalty. We want to have as much devotion to Black whenever we, he enters the battlefield, so hope we can drain and gain. But really, hopefully we can just drain our opponent out of the game. And I'm trying a couple of these Dark Salvations as removal, but you really don't have to even use them for removal. You can just make one or two zombies. But... It works really good as a two for one. So sideboard, uh, a lot of artifacts. So just got some duresses as a nod to anything. Maybe where a decks where fatal push aren't good, so we can bring in more uh, of this targeted removal effect. Got a play set of relics, uh, hating out graveyard stuff. Although we do utilize the graveyard, the amount of graveyard utilization that we use is a lot less than a deck that really abuses the graveyard. So I think we can still put in some graveyard hate. Uh, got our Damping Spheres. I think this should be a good deck to run Damping Sphere in, uh, just to be able to have this strong sideboard against Tron and uh, Storm. A couple Ratchet Bomb, uh, Lingering Souls uh, can be dealt with with the Ratchet Bomb, and other than that, maybe some problematic uh, permanents like a, a bridge or something like that, maybe. And a couple Whip of Erebos. Uh, this is hopefully a surprise against heavy aggressive decks or burn. We can just throw this down and swing with our guys and gain a bunch of life. We'll see. So that's my take on zombie devotion in uh, modern. We'll play a couple games and see how it goes. All right, mono black zombies. Modern, we won the die roll. Uh, it's pretty bad. Let's try it. Sure, we'll thought these. Thought Seize reveals a uh, Cryptic Command, Electrolyze, Jace, Opt, and Serum Visions. Man, it's got two lands. I guess we take the Jace. Serum Visions. Alright, we need to draw a land. Ooh, that was good. Uh, let's play a Messenger. It gets electrolyzed. Uh, opponent ops for opponent ops in response. Drain our opponent for two with the messenger. Opponent has a flooded strand. All right. Um, we play a lord, I guess. See what happens. Attack for four with the Jeroff's messenger. They take it, go down to 14. Alright, we'll pass. 
They crack the flooded in a turn. And flash in Snapcaster. They flash back their opt. Opponent plays a land and passes. <clears throat> Ooh, Crypt Breaker. Okay. Guess let's go for attacks with our messenger. Block with a Snapcaster. Uh, let's play the Crypt Breaker. They don't want a Cryptic Command that. Okay. See if they'll electrolyze it. Yes, they will. Opponent plays the land again. It's holding up Cryptic. All right, they're gonna cryptic. Uh, I guess we better Gary now while they're tapped out. So that drains them down to seven, and they scoop it up. Maybe just maybe duresses. Cut one of these dark salvations. I'll cut a fatal push as well. Let's try it like that. Whoops. All right, so I accidentally submitted 61 cards after sideboarding. So right now I got 61 cards for this game. Let's see. Uh, it's risky, but I'll keep it. We got three one drops, so. Uh, I'll play a crit breaker right now. Has a bolt for the crit breaker. Plays a land and passes. Let's play breaker number two. They remand it. Okay. Let's go for the thought seize. Oh wow, all they have is electrolyze, huh? Nothing but lands. Let's play clip the other crit breaker here. Oh, they top deck a Snapcaster, okay. Just to get in the way, I guess. Or, I'm sorry, so you can flash back uh, the Bolt. That was a nice top deck. Land is what we need to top deck. Um, so we play Gravecrawler and pass. Alright, at least we have a 2-drop, okay. We'll attack with Gravecrawler. All right, they block with Snapcaster. Uh, we'll play this Relentless Dead. Opponent draws a card with Lighthouse. I wasn't even paying attention to the lands they played, to be honest with you. So I'll just put this away. Wow, they have the Roast for the Relentless Dead. Oh. Uh, all we can do is pass. Serum Visions, okay. Alright. Another Relentless Dead. They draw a card in response. Crack a Tarn. Oh wow, they lot. I guess they light lighthoused in and a Logic Knot. Pretty good. Alright, our third land. See what happens when we throw down this messenger. He has the cryptic. Opt. All right. Um, I guess we'll fire this dress. <coughs> I guess we'll fire this dress off. They seem to have been able to draw into answers so far. So. We'll go ahead and duress. Wow, they got a, a stacked hand. I guess take anger. Play a lord. Flame slash down the lord. Pia and Kieran, okay. I think we just play a Lord and Pass. Yeah, 
There's the bolt. Gets in for four. Uh, let's try a dark salvation. His last card was a cryptic. <laughs> wow. Oh boy, Jace. Okay. Uh, you know what? At this point, I think I'll just concede. I don't think we're getting out of that one. Maybe I'll keep the Dark Salvations. And I'll get rid of more Fatal Pushes. Now we're at 60 cards. There we go. Oh boy. At least now we're not going to be land hungry. Let's play a Grave Crawler. Opponent Serum Visions. Ugh, another land there is not what we wanted to see. Let's go ahead and Thought Seize. Electrolyze, Electrolyze, Opt Remand, Snapcaster. Maybe I just take the Snapcaster. Get in for two. Pass. Oh, there's a messenger. Guess we'll see if they try to remand this. They do. So they use the remand, okay. They have to opt, that's good because that means they can't electrolyze both my guys. That would have been a pretty good blowout actually. Oh, they're setting up the relic first. <laughs> Exile our thought sees, okay. All right, we'll crash in for four. Resolve a messenger. We may be close to having this anyways. They could do some shenanigans though with the relic. Flame slash, okay. So in response, they're gonna exile it from the graveyard. All right, so they take care of one uh, messenger that way. Ooh, they cracked the relic now. Okay. Well, that's less scary. So they still can't electrolyze. All right, we'll see if we can crash in here. Brings them to one. We'll go for the messenger. No reason not to. Oh, they don't have it. All right. Sweet. So, uh, Mono Black Zombie Devotion takes down Blue Red Control. Snapcaster Mage. Mono Black Zombie Devotion's in Modern. Uh, we won the die roll. All right. Multiple one drops, two lands. Yeah, this looks pretty good. I think I'm going to play Crypt Breaker because I might want to pitch the Grave Crawler to the Crypt Breaker at some point. Opponent shocks himself to play an Arbor Elf. Oh, let's Thought Seize. Uh, oh, Doubling Season deck. Interesting. I guess I'm just going to take their Elf. We'll push down their other Elf. And get in for one. Oh, they drew a Othanissa. That's pretty good for them. They get an island. Okay. Play the planes. I 
guess I'm gonna play out my one drops and draw a card here. Uh, and I'm gonna do it now because oh yeah, I want to draw a land. There we go. That worked out. Uh, get in with this grave crawler. Actually, I did that wrong. Let me discard this uh, grave crawler. Make a zombie. So I missed one point of damage there. I should have. Uh, I'll play the grave crawler from the grave. There's a Gideon. Makes him a knight. Land number four. I'll send everything at Gideon here to make sure he dies. Uh, see how that goes. Alright. Sure, play Obliterator. Oh, they scoop it up. All right. So this is a match where Fatal Push is still good because they got mana dorks. But I think I want... I still want a couple dresses, I think. Let me cut the Dark Salvations, I guess. We'll try it like that. All right, I'll keep this. Um... Uh, Okay, might as well thought seize. I guess we'll take Nissa. It's the lowest one. They drew a flooded strand for turn. Oh man, I wish we had a two drop right about now. All right, play our Lord. So they start out with Garrick, okay. Make a beast. Gives us use for our fatal push. So I guess we just play Obliterator and pass. Uh, actually, I should have... Uh, you know what? I should have taken out Garrick right there. Uh, either way, we'll see what happens. Doubling season, alright. Alright, um, uh, I guess we'll attack Garrick, uh, no, will we? Yeah, we'll attack Garrick. Might just let it go through. Yeah, sure, let's Gary. They immediately get to Emblem Tamiyo. I may not have another turn here. <laughs> no. Okay, Narset. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just concede. I don't think we can get out of that. I guess we'll just try again. Ooh, no lander. Mulligan. Oh, man. Uh... We'll try this. If we draw some lands, we could be pretty aggressive here. 
There's one of them. Crit breaker. Utopia Sprawl for opponent, alright. Uh, we'll get him with our Crit Breaker. Get down our Relentless Dead. Opponent cracks a wind sweat teeth. Gets a temple garden untapped. Just goes for another Uto well. They can make three mana though, so they can play a three mana planeswalker still. Okay, yep, they play Onissa. That's pretty strong. Ooh, so now we're stuck on land. Guess we'll attack Nissa. Opponent has Othanissa. There's Garrick. Makes a beast. Make another plant. I'm actually going to discard messenger, messenger, I think. I want to keep my lords. But we're pretty far behind. Especially if we don't draw land here. Oh, which we didn't. Uh, I think I have to play this. Let's tap these three. Not a land. Another Othanus for our opponent. Makes another beast. Wow. Pumps up his team. Uh, we'll just take four. Wow. Uh, you know what? I think that does it. it. Not drawing a land there. I mean, I think we were pretty much done for anyways. But uh, not drawing a land this turn, I think, seals the deal. So we'll concede this one. All right. Mono Black, Zombie Devotion, Modern. We won the die roll. Man, heavy land hands. I'll mulligan. Yeesh. All right. Temple of Enlightenment for your opponent gets to scry. Thought sees our opponent. Another just guy control. Huh. Guess we'll take anger.
play a Lord of Rakuya Cursed. This is probably enough to get a Supreme Verdict out of my opponent, but we'll see. Get in for three with the Lord. Yep, they go out and fire off the Verdict. Oh wow, obliterator off the top, huh? They can pack it though. They do not, okay. They must have another plan for it. Oh, I'm sorry, they, they couldn't have paid for the pact. They're cycling, oh. They're transmuting to Lariat West. Okay, what do they get with that? A Pact? Yeah, Pact of the Titan. Okay. Huh. Is this Hive Mind? All right, I guess I still just passed. Oh wow, they're comboing off. This is interesting. Okay. They sack all their land, make eight mana. Yep, cast Hive Man. Okay. And cast a pack that I won't be able to pay for. Why did they have to pack the negation, though? That's weird. I don't think they had to pack it of negation, but. Oh well. We'll see how the. Uh... Let's see how the end of ending. Let's see how the uh, not paying for your pack triggers go on, on here. We'll let it kill us to, and see what happens. All right, I'll put that trigger on the stack first. No. <laughs> All, right. All right, duresses. Damping Sphere could slow him down, maybe. It's better than a lot of stuff I have, like Fatal Push. Yeah, I guess I'll take out all my removal. Try it like that. We'll play first. Um, this is really aggressive. I'm going to keep it even though it's a one-lander. Get a grave crawler down. Pass. Slide a hand for the opponent. Um, let's thought seize. I think I'm going to take the hive mind. So we're racing Supreme Verdict. And right now he doesn't have a hive mind, but he could probably get one. Here's the Sacred Foundry. Uh, 
Uh, let's go to tax. Actually, I'm going to play, yeah, let's play Dross. Let it get remanded. Okay. Serum Visions, okay. Hmm. They can Supreme Verdict next turn, so I think I want to play the Messenger post combat. They take it, go down to eight. We'll attempt the messenger again. It resolves, they go down to six. Nice. Okay, pass. So if they Supreme Verdict, they'll go down to four. Or three with the fetch. And they do. So our messenger comes back with undying, get, drains them down to three, which means they're dead, unless they have a pact of negation. Ah, they have something, okay. Intervention pact, okay. So they gain two instead of lose two. So that puts them out of Range of being a dead, I guess. Oh, no, it doesn't. I thought he was going to gain life. Okay. That was weird. Maybe I didn't understand how the intervention pack worked, but I thought he was going to gain life. Oh, it's because it's loss of life and not damage, I guess. That's why. He couldn't, couldn't be redirected. So... Oh, uh, yeah, I guess we just run it back. Not the aggression we need, but we got sideboard cards. Yeah, let's try it. Leyline. Oh, no. Wow. That makes this hand a lot worse. Okay. Pass. Thinking more about this, I don't know how good the Damping Spheres actually are against this deck, but oh well. I guess we'll go for the Damping Sphere. <laughs> we'll see if that does anything. Uh, alright, let's try this Relentless Dead. It resolves. Opponent passes again. There's an Obliterator. I think I'm going to wait to play the obliterator so I can potentially keep this alive through a wrath. Although my opponent doesn't have any white mana right now. Or they do have a sacred foundry though. They have one white, they need two. Well, second obliterator. Okay, let's go to attacks. Alright. 
obliterator number one. Okay. Pass the turn. Okay, compulsive research for our opponent. He draws three, then discards two unless he discards a land. So he chooses to discard two. That means he's taking a really big hit this next turn. Unless he has Path to Exile. Um, yeah, let me play this Lord. Opponent's on a one turn clock. And they scoop it up. All right, so we pulled it out against uh, Jeskai Hivemind. Interesting. I thought it was just Jeskai Control at first, but then they busted out the Hivemind. It's pretty cool. But uh, we were able to get aggressive enough to stop him. I don't know if Damping Sphere helped, but cool. I'll take it. All right, Mono Black, Zombie Devotion, Modern. This hand seems pretty reasonable. Opponent Mulligan down to five. Basic forest, no Pele. Uh, with that, I guess we'll crit break. Pass the turn. Listener Elf, okay. Uh, let's thought seize. I guess I'm going to take another one of their creatures. And we'll Dark Salvation. Uh, dark Salvation that. Get in for one. So they didn't hit their land, so they can't play Necrobead. Uh, yeah, let's play our Lord. Hit for two. Now they can play Necropede. Wow. Uh, I'm just going to go for another Lord. Uh, I think I'll draw a card, so I'll just pass. Uh, our opponent scoops it up. Cast down might be something good. I'll cut a gray merchant. Uh, I think that's all I want to really do. Oh uh, yeah, I like this. Got the turn one elf. Um, maybe I should thought seize. Well, maybe I better take their other creature. Although it's going to be hard to uh, combat those Apostles' Blessings, I think. Opponent gets in for one infect. Uh, okay, they kick a Vines of Asswood, so they get in for five.
All right, play our Crypt Breaker. But pretty much, if they draw another pump spell, our t uh, so use the vines. Yes. So they have to have pump spells to go along with the vines to, or to go along with the Apostle's blessing to kill me. I think I'm still gonna block, force them to have to use one of the one of their spells if they want to keep their guy alive. Which they okay they did have another pump. So I'm at in infect. Uh, well, I'll play this Lord. They have to top deck another pump spell to be able to get through, or to get through for lethal. Okay, the apostles. Pro black. Oh, and they had the giant growth. Okay. They had no shortage of pump spells. Cut a gray merchant for a duress. Maybe I want a ratchet bomb. I'll just cut the last Gary. Oh, I like this hand. Fatal push is a card I've been wanting to see. Okay. Pass. My opponent didn't have the Glistener Elf, so that's good for us. Get in for two with Gravecrawler. Uh, we'll play the Relentless Dead now, I think. There's the Ica Claw. Uh, yeah, let's push down the Ica Claw. Get in for four. Now we're just trying to race them before they can stick a creature and start swinging. Oh, they had one. A good follow up. Bigger claw mirror. Ooh, wow. Fatal push off the top. Uh, yeah, I guess I just have to do that. Hopefully that swings my the race in my favor enough to where it's going to be game ending. Blight Mamba. Okay. Oh, that's nice, the fifth land. So let's swing in. They probably won't block this time because they won't be able to regenerate. Alright, they go down to six, play Obliterator. And I don't know how they can get out of this. Oh, yep, yeah, they scoop it up. Yeah, I don't think... I think we had overwhelmed them a, a little too much there. All right, so Mono Black, Zombie Devotion takes down. Uh, looks like uh, Mono Green Infect.